What is up, everybody? I am Captain Davey Pons, and today we're having a really quick bro talk discussion. Joining me is First Mate Sam, my little brother. Say hello, First Mate Sam. Hello, First Mate Sam. All right. Best joke <laughs> ever. All right. Uh-huh. So, well, I was on time this time. Yeah, you were. That's awesome. Um, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa. <laughs> You just, I think, like to see how much of your audacity strip you can fill with blue. Like I do. It's it's my favorite thing in this world. It's a beautiful ball. That's a weird thing to Any- have be your favorite. Um, but today we're going to be having phone application wars. Which phone application is our favorite now? This This discussion topic came to me today as I was thinking about and while I was playing Dragon City on my iPod and I was like hmm applications are interesting and we've definitely played some interesting ones in our time so what is the king of the application what is our personal favorites and what do we think of them (laughs) yes very good very good topic of discussion um where do we start this conversation? <laughs> Ugh, sorry, hiccup. Bless you. Where do we start this conversation? Where's the chapstick? Um, uh, well, why don't so t- you... Tell us about Dragon City. What is this? I haven't played this. So, Dragon City, it's, it's also a Facebook game, so you can kind of get the gist. Right. You, you, you start with, like buying one dragon and it's of the earth element and then you can buy a fire dragon and you breed the two together and you get like rock fire dragon and it's it's that sort of game and so you know you're like hey let's have this dragon breed with this and it's like wait for 12 hours and come back and you'll see what new dragon you have and you feed them and they raise levels and you can battle them and all that stuff. It's kind of fun. It's just, I like to see what all the different dragons are and the elements and all that what stuff. What is it that's so. fun about games that make you wait? I don't know. I loved Pirates Ahoy when it was on Facebook, and I'm really sad that it's gone. Because I probably would still play that. I played a ton of Cafe World. Too much Cafe World. Cafe World? Huh. Or whatever it was on Facebook. <laughs> I don't think I ever played Cafe World. Um, really? I, I probably sent you an invite. <laughs> I probably ignored that invite. Um, <laughs> I I played like five seconds of Farmville. I don't think I ever played Farmville. See, I'm more application hesitant than you. Um, you're more inclined to jump right into them. Now there are a few like back on MySpace. There was this one. I forget what it was called. <laughs> it was like Pets Central or something like that. You picked a pet and. uh uh, I picked a chicken, and he was a chubby chicken, a fat chicken, and his name was Gordon Blue, and uh, as in chicken, blue? chicken Gordon Blue, and uh, I gave him a top hat and gave him a castle as a home, and blah blah blah. I forget what that app was called, but my friend Aaron got like legit into it and like friended people on forums and stuff like that, and got all this stuff. Like, dude, check this out, because you could pay like real people money to get like items that actually like moved and did weird like animations and stuff like that. But he'd get them for free. See, that's where I draw the line: is yeah. paying real money for these things. <laughs> See, he would like get in good with these people on the forums, and then he'd be able to like get these things through trade and stuff like that because he would acquire the free items but they're really rare free items so people that were willing to pay money were willing to trade if I remember right anyways I forget what that was called if you know what I'm talking about leave a comment in the comments below that's kind of vague I know I understand but you like <laughs> go check out them, MySpace you, go- <laughs> you pet them you washed them this was a while back you would like wash them pet them before dogs. you'd like click a button and it would like throw food into the bowl or something like that I don't remember their mouth you could pick like a dragon or a chicken or I don't remember what else but it was pretty fun but then as far as phone apps, I'm a little more picky. I've done Angry Birds. I played all the way through that. I think I played all the way through Angry Birds in space, and I think that I played all the way through Angry Birds Star Wars. And I played through, like, 
part of the original Angry Birds. I'm not sure if I ever beat that or not, but uh, seasons I skipped out on on Rio. I, I played some of Rio, but I I think I don't think I ever finished that one. And I haven't done Angry Birds Epic or Angry Birds, which is an RPG, which looks awesome. And I haven't touched Angry Birds Stella. But I just feel like Angry Birds <laughs> deserves honorable mention in this list. Because they have entertained me. But I wouldn't put them at the top of the list. Nor would I put Fruit Ninja up there. Although it's fun, I just uh, I, I wouldn't uh, put them at the very top. Just because once you've had enough of those, you've had enough. Yeah, I... Uh... <sighs> I, I have done a bunch of the Angry Birds stuff. I did not get as into it as you did. I played a bunch of the original. I played some of the Star Wars. And, uh... Uh... played about five seconds of Rio. And that's pretty much the extent of my Angry Birds application stuff. Um... I downloaded the demo of Fruit Ninja, played it a little bit, never really touched it again. Uh, I remember back in the day when I had my old, like, first generation iPod Touch, which I still have and still works and is not and is not cracked, and uh, I've been running a timer on it for, like, 2,000 hours or something like that. Yeah, I've been running it since, like, sixth grade. So are you literally listing Timer as one of your apps of choice? No. <laughs> no, I was, just, I, would, I was bringing that up, saying that I'm going to break a world record one day. and uh, When you're 80. <laughs> yeah. If if you have that iPod or whatnot and the circumstances are correct, that'd be epic. Yes. See how high it yes. can go. It, well, <laughs> you did say apps and not just app games. So other interesting apps are like the auto-tuner thing. Like where you can yeah. talk into it. That was fun. Um, yeah, that. <laughs> my name is Caleb. I work at Meyer, <laughs> and I have watermelon juices squirt all over me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I just got a new app that called Duolingo cool. that helps you learn other languages. I'm taking Spanish this semester. It's pretty nice. Nice. I have a Sonic screwdriver I... app. If you're in a relationship, <laughs> yes. I recommend getting the app called Avocado because you can send little pictures and stuff. You, like, link your account with your significant other, and then you, like, share this account where you post, like, stuff on it. I don't even know. But I used that nice. for a while in the past. Yeah, on my old original iPod Touch, I, I played a lot of this game. I don't remember what it was called, but it was it was kind of similar to Worms, but you played as, like like strange cavemen army men and you like launch grenades and stuff it was that kind of set strategy destroy the other team in like uh maybe it was more close to final fantasy tactics style it was something like that uh, i played a lot of that but i got out of that i played a lot of this game called tiny wings which was a momentum game okay where you're this bird and there's hills and you uh he moves automatically, but when you tap the screen, he, like, does a downward dive, and if you downward dive on the hills in the right spot, he'll go flying, and, like, he'll go faster, and you keep going until the day ends, which the day runs out automatically. You can get little sun tokens to make the day last longer, but when the day ends, your bird just stops no matter where you are. And, uh... Okay. I played a lot of that. That was fun. Two more that come to mind here are, uh, Doodle Jump classic and um, never played that really it's pretty fun you it's a uh, it's kind of like the sonic jump game that came out but it was the original and then there was uh, a jetpack joyride that cj sonic played jump. what sam nice i said sonic jump sucks dude i have it and uh it's just i don't it's definitely not as fun as the uh essential temple run sonic game which i played a lot of temple run back in the day too uh, Temple Run is just, I, I don't know why I had trouble getting into that one, but um, we have to mention Flappy Bird because you and I got into a Flappy Bird war, war fight for and a while, I... and you won, <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, yeah. I have the highest score of anybody I know. <laughs> what is your score? 198. It's amazing. 
um, that that really is. But um, all right. Well, we're approaching the ten minute mark. In fact, we just crossed it, so we don't have much more time left to talk here. But. I, I feel that but you and I have the same... Have the same favorite one. The same yeah, favorite I I... favorite one, and it is by no means the best application out there. None of these probably Not are. These are just all. personal favorites. And this one, especially of all things, is the weirdest thing yeah, to like it's... as much as both of us liked. We liked this thing so much that it was ridiculous. But uh, it was when we first got our Android phones, and uh, we we never had dreamed of actually having a smartphone. I told Caleb of this app because I saw it on my friends, and I played it, and I was like, "Why is this so fun? This shouldn't be fun, but this is amazingly fun." And uh, <laughs> I got him hooked on it, and I was hooked on it too. And it's I think it holds the place as best app for us, the king of the applications, <laughs> and we deliberately haven't mentioned it the entire video. Yeah, yeah. I think both of us subconsciously didn't mention it because yep. we knew that this was the best one. Not even subconsciously. I thought of it clear at the beginning, but I knew where this oh, conversation yeah. was going. I knew. Yeah. See, that's the, the brotherhood thing there. I just knew where you were <laughs> going with this. We didn't discuss this beforehand. This is pretty much raw conversation here. <laughs> but I knew that you were going to lead up to this one. And uh, <laughs> you want to say wanna what it is? You want to on the count of three? Okay, on the count of three. One, <laughs> two, two, three, coin dozer. Coin dozer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Coin dozer. <laughs> coin dozer. I am sorry. The if, best. Yeah. Like... If you've ever played coin dozer and you were like, what? I, I apologize. I understand why you're confused. But for some reason, we had so much fun with it. It was ridiculous. You broke the game. Like, it glitched, and he just got pretty much, like, infinite coins. And because his coin walls never went down, and so he just, like, racked up prizes and thousands of coins. I want to say there was, like, a ten-minute period of time where I had coin walls up. And I know how it happened. I forget how it <laughs> happened, though. I had it figured out. Like, I knocked the... It was like I... Uh, how did I do that? I don't remember exactly how I did it, but I got the coin wall. The There are these little bumper walls that could go up for a period of time so that none of the coins fall off the edge. They all just fall down where you need them to. And they got stuck up for a period of time, like I broke a real machine or something. And... Uh, that helped, but really what happened was I had so many upgrades that it was pretty much like I can just throw the coins in the machine. For those, those, those of you that don't know what Coin Dozer is, it's like one of those little coin pusher machines where you put the coins in and they push the coins forward and the coins fall, and then you can use those coins to put more coins in. But eventually you get upgrades and stuff to get bonuses, and I had so many upgrades that it was just like I was earning more coins than I was losing, period. So I never had to wait like a day to get five more coins or something like that because I was earning more. I think I have hundreds, maybe a thousand coins on there now. Yeah. So. I found another game as stupid as that, similar to that. Also one of my favorite apps that I've ever had. It was a uh, crane machine app. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Remi is, was it like Zelda crane machine uh, a Link's Awakening? No, absolutely not. A Link's Awakening. Okay. I butchered that title. <laughs> a, link, a Link Between Awakenings. That's the one <laughs> Captain's Log. That's the one where he that's the one where he has sleep sleep paralysis. A Link Between Awakenings. Um Yes. Anyways, you, you should start a new thing on this channel where we uh where you do a vlog and call it Captain's Log. Captain's Captain's Vlog. That that's Captain's a great log. great title. Captain's log. All right. Anyways, <laughs> I have to go because I have to go to work at Lift Heavy Things R Us. But all night. Thank you guys all night R Us. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Great talking to you, first mate Sam. And I guess we're I'll we're announce it right own. here. Today I pre-ordered. Should I tell him? No. I shouldn't tell him. No. I figured it. He pre-ordered the next LP. <laughs> I pre-ordered the next LP today. 
So it's a new game uh, by uh, Square Enix. It's it's literally called the next LP. You play as Chugga Conroy and like Nintendo Capri Sun and Ghost Robo and them, and it's like Super Smash Brothers but with them. Wow, that would be. I would buy, probably buy that game, sadly. I would so buy a new grounds game. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll. All right. See you later, first mate Sam. I really got to get ready for work now. Bye, Letters, everybody. I love you guys. Worms. Bye. Oh, do 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 do.